welcome back to another episode of Guiding for Health and Wellbeing. So today I'm trying to uh, save myself some money and get some um, extra tomato plants to replace some of the ones that have um, died because they were eaten by something in the uh, big pots out the back. Um, and out the front here in this tub we have some um, self um, sown uh, tomato, Roma tomatoes, and I'm just trying to find the uh, V in the um, tomato plants and taking the um, the stem growth that grows in the armpit of that V, so it's like a three three part thing, and then I'm taking the middle one out, and I'm just simply pinching that off. Some of them are quite large, some of them are a little bit smaller and I'm just trying to sort through and get a number of them so that I can put into the pots. Um, in the pots um, out the back we do only uh, need three to replace the ones that have fully been eaten and died and so therefore some of the other ones that I've pinched out here I just randomly place it in the garden beds and hopefully they grow um, because all the little hairs that are on the stem will turn into um, roots and therefore that's how you get free tomato plants. Um, the, these ones actually grew from my Roma tomatoes that I had in these pots um, last year um, and we must have had some fruit that had fallen um, and we didn't realise and they grew by themselves and they are looking really really healthy and so I'm, I've got high hopes for all these transplants to succeed. Um, I think I ended up getting about six or seven um, little tomato suckers from the armpits of those, that V area. Um, as I say, some are sort of small, some are large, as we weren't um, pruning them um, regularly or anything. Um, I was just going to let them run wild and rampant so we can get more tomatoes out the front. But the ones out the back decided to be eaten, so I'm stealing some of the, the um, tomato um, armpit sprout bits. Um, have any of you ever done this before? I have tried um, putting it into water to let them sprout roots. I have transplanted them straight into the soil and I found that that technique actually works better for me um, as the one in the water. I keep forgetting to change the water um, daily and the stems all go black and not very healthy looking so I don't like to um, do that anymore so I just transplant it straight into the soil. This soil in these pots were really damp the further down you go so I won't water these until later this afternoon and yeah hopefully they'll they'll do well in these pots. Hopefully they won't get eaten. Uh, the dog that's in the background is a family friend's dog. We're actually just looking after that one at the moment. Um, he's very quiet, he just explores and wants to be around you. Um, yeah, so I'm just potting up all the, the pots that have got the dead and dying tomato plants in it and transferring these shoots. Here's the last pot that needs um, potting up with the tomato plant. Um, I'd like to choose the healthier looking ones to go in these pots as 
I do want these to succeed. Um, and they are in a nice sunny position, whereas the other ones are a little bit more shaded. And I may forget about that they're there. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really got high hopes for these. I decided to put these near the peas because these peas, they're, they're, they're already um, starting to produce the pods and the pods are starting to swell, so I'll be harvesting those. And in a couple of weeks' time, they'll soon um, be finished with this trellis. And by that stage, hopefully these tomatoes will be big enough and I can start um, tying them onto the trellis um, without the peas impeding the growth. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing some harvest videos soon for you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoy that. And then once I get a good harvest coming in regularly, I might even do some um, uh, like cooking videos and different things like what I have for my breakfast or um, you know, or something like that. And then eventually I'll be doing my morning routine and stuff. Um, chickens. Uh, they're not at the point of laying or anything yet, um, but I'm looking forward to that. Here we have some sweet potato slips. They are from um, a family friend. Uh, there is tons and tons here. I actually am not sure. Some of them have fluted already in the little bit of water that we put into these pots. Um, this, these ones were the best ones. There's some nice roots there. So all you do is get the cutting from the vining um, parts of the potato plant, sweet potato plants, put them into some water and then start um, cloning themselves by um, forming roots. And then you just plant those in and voila! You get more sweet potatoes. Um, these are the purple variety sweet potatoes. Um, they do taste quite good. I do have my red ones already growing, um, but either the rodents or possum or something is eating those, so I need to find a way to combat um, that issue. Um, I'm thinking I might try and invest in some um, different types of flowers. I've heard lavender, cactus, even, and a few of the other herbs type ones also will um, occur those sorts of pests. Um, but not only those rodents and things, but also insects as well. Um, they get attracted by the other smells and things and leave some of the other plants alone. And yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, you can see Planting out some of these sweet potato slips as well. I only end up doing about six, I think. Um, the ones that have the most roots on them at this stage, and then in the next couple of weeks, I'll branch out more. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.
coming along and uh, watching what I've been doing on a, on a weekend. And see you next time. Bye.